Hi, it's Kevin LeBates here, and today I want to talk about something that I call crypto archaeology. Now, the Bitcoin blockchain is nearly 12 years old, so obviously it's not something that you would normally apply the term archaeology to, but in software terms, it's actually starting to get on a bit. And the interesting thing that the Bitcoin blockchain has is this immutable ledger that we know has not been tampered with that we can then investigate. And all sorts of interesting design decisions were made and all sorts of interesting activities can be uh, extrapolated from data found within the blockchain records themselves. So uh, I find that fascinating and actually there there is a one top-notch crypto archaeologist out there, a guy called Sergio Damian Lerner, and I'll put some links to some of his articles, because um, he's managed to derive a whole bunch of interesting um, hypotheses from simply looking at the data that occurs in the Bitcoin blockchain, not just the transactions themselves, but also the nonces and the timings of uh, certain block arrival times in the very early days. So I think it's a fascinating topic. Um, I'm discussing it here at Samalachdenmaki, which is a, um, a Bronze Age site in southwestern Finland uh, from about uh, 1300 BC and uh, I thought therefore raising this interesting new uh, academic pursuit I suppose uh, might be suitably appropriate. Anyway look for the links to uh, Sergio's articles in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.